This is Jay Harkins from Kimball Chase, and today I want to talk to you about flow adapters that uh, go to Chromaflex columns. Um, what I've got here is is a two and a half centimeter uh, flex column um, flow adapter that uh, I'm going to replace the ferrule uh, in the end fitting for this piece. What you need for this process is uh, a razor knife or an exacto knife, uh, a replacement ferrule. Um, and what we're going to do is disassemble the, um, the flow adapter, uh, cut the tubing, put the new ferrule on, and then reassemble it. So let me talk about the, the, the parts of the flow adapter first. Uh, there's a top knob, there's a knob clamp, and the knob clamp it has a set screw in it, and it's, it's uh, attached to this threaded rod, so it, it doesn't turn, it turns the entire threaded rod. There's a locking ring that, that locks down to this end cap, and the end cap is what screws onto the, the glass chromoflex column. And then down at the end, there's uh, an end fitting uh, with a, an O-ring, and then there's a little collar. At the end of the end fitting, there is a bed support, and it's an HDPE bed support with a 20 micron porosity, and those need to be changed out occasionally. So, first of all, to start the process, I have to take the top knob off. So I, I hold the end fitting and unscrew this top knob. And inside there's a, a stainless steel rod that's threaded. And so this is a long threaded rod. Okay, just slide that back. And then we'll be able to remove this threaded rod, this collar and the o-ring. This is a, a TFE propylene o-ring. Okay, now we have the end fitting and another locking fitting. So I'll unscrew this locking fitting. Now I'll unscrew the end fitting. Okay, and inside here you can see there's another little adapter that has a quarter twenty-eight thread inside the, the housing but there's about three sixteenths of an inch of tubing sticking out here and so what we'll need to do is pull this out a little bit and then we're going to cut this tubing squarely now we slide our new ferrule on and again about three sixteenths of an inch or so tubing sticking out Put the end fitting back on there. And screw that in place onto the steel rod. Just finger tight, not, not too tight. And then this locking fitting is tightened. Again, just finger tight. Put the O ring and the collar in place. Slide down the threaded rod and then screw the top knob back on while I'm holding the end fitting. All right, and when you're using this, you screw the uh, end cap onto the column and then you adjust the, the bed height and then you lock the ring. And, and once you've done that and you want to secure the uh, you know, secure the, the O-ring, seal it against the inside of the column, you tighten this top knob, and that compresses this threaded rod, and it, and it compresses this O-ring against the inside of the chromoflex column and seals it. So that's how it works, and uh, that's how you replace the ferrule. Thanks for watching.